Hi guys, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. Now, a easy way to dial in your putting stroke. Now, it has to be about feel. And, you know, a couple of years ago, they banned anchoring. And the reason why anchoring worked is because it sort of took uh, too much manipulation out of the hands, but still allowing that feel. So, you know, I've got a, an, a longer putter that's sort of weighted in the grip. That, for me, helps. It's not like I'm a super amazing putter, but it does give me a bit more consistency. Now, something that I want to share with you is a simple drill you can use to uh, feel a bit more connected without sacrificing any feel and to give you that connected, anchored sensation when you putt. Now, basically, all, all we're talking about is the anchored putter was when it's, especially the belly putter, you know, not so much the, the chest, where it was dug into your chest. Let's just talk about the belly putter. That would sort of sit in the middle here and we just take the stroke and it would be anchored. We'd rotate around that point and it would just create a bit more stability. Now, what we can do is literally just do some practice strokes with that in mind. So we're still feeling that sensation of being anchored, okay? So there's the stroke, making sure that we're turning um, the, the, the sternum, we're feeling nice balance through everything. So we've got that sensation. And now as we go over the putt, we just want to try and repeat that feel. And okay, I haven't hold it, but the sensation was there. Now, the other thing that I want you to try and do, once you've kind of uh, done a couple of practice swings with this, to improve your pace of putts. A lot of you might be a bit too long on the backswing, a bit too short on the follow through, or vice versa, too short and then too long. I want you to monitor where you're standing. So you want your, your feet about shoulder width apart for this kind of length of putt. Now, bear in mind, I haven't lined up or anything here. So whether I hold it or not is, if it goes in, it's luck. If it misses, I don't care. But what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that the putter doesn't go past the right foot here and it doesn't go past the left foot. That's going to give me, like if the ball is over the center of the sternum, that's going to give me a nice positive action. And again, if I couple that with the anchored feel, so I'm just here, okay, there's that anchored sensation there. There's that anchored sensation. And then we just go through backwards and forwards. Okay, now I did just turn a little bit, but I got the pace right and it was a positive putt. So do that anchor, anchored sensation. Just stick it into the belly button, do a couple of practice strokes, and then just set the putter down and do it again with that same feel that the bigger muscles are using uh, to putt and that you're staying positive with the length of stroke from the right foot to the left foot, not going past, not going short. It's just positive. You do that, you're going to have a bit more consistency in strike. And of course, you've got to read the greens correctly. You've got to gauge the distance right. But once you have a kind of more consistent feel that you can rely on, you're just going to be um, a bit more confident on the greens. So hope you like that. Very, very simple. Two simple tips. Try them. Let me know how you get on. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just leave them below. See you next time.